And welcome back. There have been a number of high-profile cases of physical abuse of, uh, well, young student athletes in recent times, with one even resulting in a heavy prison sentence. But does the matter stem from a deeper issue? Jordan Fort went on the hunt for answers. With sport being an inherently competitive atmosphere, coaches oftentimes do everything in their power to make their athletes and teams better. But oftentimes, the will to win seems to spill over into physical abuse. With a few high-profile cases locally popping up in recent times, is there an increase in the numbers or just an increase in reports? We put this question to children's advocate, Diane Gordon Harrison. The numbers have been rising since we have been tracking it. And the numbers are rising predominantly because persons at the societal level are more aware and are more vocal on the issues because of this increased awareness. Also, persons are more empowered to report because there are so many different ways now of getting matters uplifted from just rumours and morphing into reports. So how much training do coaches get in handling their charges? Not specifically um, in coach, coaching courses, but um, as teachers we, we learn behavior modification. So um, it's, it's something that's a part of us as teachers. We, we learn to discipline them in many different ways without um, being physical. But one coach disagrees. To some extent it is necessary, you know, but not excessive punishment. A little slap or a little pinch, but nothing excessive. Others use positive reinforcement. One of my girls finished ninth in, 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 in the class one girl, and I hug her, see me and, and say, well done. She, her, her thing is, she promised next, sir, next year we're doing better. And the use of corporal punishment for student athletes is something one parent we spoke to was completely against. Oh, I would not because my son is an athlete. So if I, if I find a coach is hitting him because he's not doing well, they were going to have problems. But no, I don't recommend that. GC Foster College, the institution which trains a number of the PE teachers and coaches, has a major role to play. Acting principal of the institution, Maurice Wilson, says they take their role very seriously. The coaching program that we have here, which is our associate degree, is modeled off the teacher, teacher's code. And so we do not expect any of our graduates to behave in an unprofessional manner. And I would go further to say, especially when it comes to child abuse, female or male, any person that is given the opportunity to be in charge of a youngster and violate those tenets, they should be punished very harshly. In recent months, there have been at least three high-profile cases of abuse of student athletes by coaches or teachers which have gone before the courts. One case, which involved sexual abuse, has resulted in football coach Kevin Williams being sentenced to 16 years in prison.